Hi, I wanted to show you what I've set up with funnels because I think it's confusing, especially if you just want people to sign up for your email newsletter and you don't want to give them a giveaway or a freebie of some kind, or you want them to make an inquiry to hire you for a course or something like that. So let me show you what I'm doing. Um, just so you can get the end goal in mind, this is my landing page. It's got the dynamic header at the top so that I keep consistency across my whole site and then it's where I've already talked to people and I've said if you're interested in me consulting with you please go to my consulting page and they read a little bit you can put as much or as little into this as you want they fill in their first name, their last name, their email address, their phone number they click submit and then I need a number of things to happen when they click submit, I need them added to a list and I need them to be tagged so that I know that they're interested in consulting and not maybe a conference or some other thing that I might be doing. The next thing that I need to have happen is I need them to be emailed a automation and it could be a pick a date or it could be whatever you want the automation to be but they need to receive an onboarding email thank you for your inquiry, these are the dates we've got available, or blah blah, whatever. <laughs> um, and the third thing I need to have happen is I need my assistant to receive this information in an automated email to the admin. So let's go in and set this up. There are only two places that you can really do this, and one is in the courses themselves, but if you don't want to have a course, don't use that. And the second one is in marketing funnels. So in your dashboard, go to marketing funnels and then you would click create new funnel. And I will walk you through very quickly a very, very basic one. These two I don't find helpful. I'm not interested in lead magnets. I'm not interested in the video series. They don't work for my audience. I'm going to click next. And so I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this one email. It's the email sign up. It's simply, hey lol, can I sign up for your monthly email? Sure, go to my email. Be careful what you call this name. It causes problems later on with URLs being locked in and stuff like that until they fix it. I don't have a freebie download. I don't have a free course for them for this particular audience so I'm just going to click next I don't have to choose one of those in my templates there are a bunch of templates that are again not useful for me or my audience because I don't have a click funnel style audience mine are corporate they're gonna have everything signed off by committee and they're gonna have to talk to the chief financial officer so this sort of thing is not a kind of like buy now countdown timers, nothing like that will work with them. So I'm just going to choose the classic one. I click finish and I can see that the default URL is training.loyalpatwick.com slash f for funnel slash email and this is my email opt-in so I could rename this email, email opt-in or something. However this one down here is not editable at the moment so we'll leave it as it is. I will I could preview it but what I'm going to do is click edit on it and I'll show you quickly how to just get one of these pages up and running. The first thing I need to do is go to uh, blocks and I'm going to add in the header block, headers and the one there with the green dynamic on it. I'm going to drag that one and drop it as high up as I can. I think it's there. And that gives me my site dynamic header that I have across my whole site. In this section here, you're going to put your call to action. So I would say monthly email from Lowell Papworth. Tips and tricks. Those square brackets just mean you can edit it or they recommend that you edit it without, I don't know, without what? Without the spam. And then here I'm going to say, um, 
monthly updates on news, education, blah, blah. So I'm telling them why they're going to sign up. And you can add as many little boxes in here as you want. Now, this is the form. So when you see the purple box, and these sometimes can be hard to navigate to. If you're used to Divi on WordPress, you'll be fine. And everybody else, you're going to struggle a little bit. We need to make some changes here. So this is called the opt-in form. I'm going to go uh, into the first name and I'm going to add a new element. And the element I'm going to add is the form input box. And then I click. So we've got first name and enter text. We click settings. We go to settings here and we say, what do we want? Last name, I guess. We make it required. I have to make it required because I'm dealing with government. So uh, it just gets a bit iffy. They need to know that it's not Katie at the Department of Health. <laughs> they need to know exactly who it is that has been dealing with me when I'm putting in documents. Um, input type is last name. I've made it mandatory, yada, yada, and then close that one. And then another box here is another form one input and I'm going to make this one a uh, phone. You don't have to. If you're doing primarily passive online income, you won't need them. For me, I need to be able to call them. Phone. Now, this one here will say un undefined because we didn't choose a free course and we didn't choose a free PDF. So, I don't know how to fix it. What I've been doing is adding my own button. So I go here to add new element. I search for button. I add the submit button and then I just delete that download report now. It's probably not the right way to do it, but I'm showing you what I do. And then it says action not set. So this one here, action not set. So we need to be able to go into settings and then say, I want the button to say book or sign up or submit or inquiry or, so this is an email sign up. So I'll say sign up. And then under action, I want it to be a submit form. So when they fill in the first name, last name, email and phone, I want it to be a submit form. And I want to add them to an email list. At this point, if you haven't created your list, you will have to go back and create lists. But I've got a students list, an inquiry list, and a staff list. I could just have a generic email lead list as well. Um, for this one, let's put it on students. I can always change it later. Post submit action. Take them to the next step. And then the next step is this one back here where they get the thank you page, which we can also edit. And once that's all done, I probably have to link to my privacy policy and I would add in pictures and videos and anything else that you want to add in just by using blocks and elements up here. Click save. And we still have a couple more things to do. Okay. Um, I'm not concerned about the meta SEO information. I don't like opt-in page, so I'll call it email sign up, I guess. It's a generic email sign up done. And then we go back to return to site. Stay on this page. Save. <laughs> go back to the site. Once you've set up one of these, I'm pretty sure you can just go in and duplicate the funnels. I haven't actually done that yet. So we've got the page set up and when I go to preview, this is what the page will look like for anybody that comes to my slash F slash email page. They'll get this option. They can sign in, sign up. They're not signing in. They're not registering into the school. They're not registering into a course, nothing. They're just signing up for the monthly email or their seven day challenge or whatever it is you're doing. And 
the next thing that I need to do is go into automation. So once we came out of editing this one and we were on funnel steps, we go to automation. And we just need to do two quick things here. Email drip sequence on subscribe. So the minute they hit that submit button, that means they've subscribed. Nothing here is working at the moment because they're all paused. But I need to add um, a thank you or an onboarding message so I can edit one of these. <coughs> Access instructions email. I wouldn't, I don't bother with the rest of them. I don't send my users a lot of emails. They get 10 million a day. They're all directors of marketing so they know how it works. Email drip sequence on subscribe. Let's go into this one. So I'm on automation, edit automation rules, and just super quickly, action name, um, onboarding, email sign up. It's from me. I don't want them to get the freebie, so thank you for signing up. And then I would read these and delete them, but I don't need them because I'm not offering them anything. And thank you for signing up. And then in here I would say thank you for signing up and I would give them the information. The next email will come out on the first of the month or the last of the month or whatever. If you have any questions, let me know. Yada, yada, yada. In the meantime, here's some more information for you to read. You can follow me on social media, all that kind of stuff. Do your test, save your changes, and you're good. Do I want to make it live now? No. Once I've done that and I'm, I've sent the test messages and I'm happy with it and I make the action live, it means that if people do sign up on this form, they will then get this email. So this is your opportunity to really welcome them into your community, to set, your, uh, to set their expectations with regards to the programming schedule, like I blog once a week, I do a YouTube video, whatever it is you want to tell them. Make sure they know all that stuff about you, maybe a bit of a bio further down, and you're good to go. You can set a delay so that each one of these can go one day, two day, three days, etc. Now there's a couple of things that I do need though. I've got the form set up, they hit subscribe, they get a thank you. The next thing that I need to do is make sure that they are, or that I get an email. I get the email, so add an action. I'm gonna add a tag because remember we added them to the list and the tag is going to be called um, email sign up. That's all they are, they're just an email sign up. I'm just gonna do it one minute. It's, there's no urgency for the tagging. So one minute after they've signed up, they get tagged with email sign up and that tells me that they came in through the email sign up page, not through something, not through some other automated page or some other marketing funnel page. The other action I need to add is add notify admin. Whoops, save the changes. And then when I notify the admin, it's going to be notify virtual assistant, personal assistant, notify me, whatever you want to call that. And I would give the email the name email sign up notification because you're going to get a lot of these emails sooner or later. Hi, Lowell. Hi, New Zealand. <laughs> and personalize. I want the users, the, the sign up person's first name, space, last name. And I probably actually want that further down. Mm -mm broke it okay so here personalize first name space last name signed up aren't you brilliant be nice to yourself and then personalize I want their email address that tells me which government department they're with and 
I couldn't find the option to add phone here so I will need to go in and extract that out from time to time and I probably give it the funnel name so that I know which form is coming from where lots of love other lol and then I do some hashtags so I can search in my emails New Zealand uh, hash email sign up hash uh, do. and now the admin will be notified by email when uh, someone signs up and then I suggest that you test it so put your name and your last name in when you do your email if you can use a uh, gmail you can actually do plus test and that you can do test one test two test three then you can keep testing it if you've made all these mandatory when you click sign up I'm gonna get an error <laughs> and once that's all done and everything's saved and everything's live and you've tested 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 when you go to site obviously this is a new site a little baby site I go to lead under people and I can see the tags here that they were interested in consulting or they were interested in whatever the tag is that I've attributed to that form so the email sign up I didn't actually sign up but I tagged it with email sign up and that will be a tag that would then show up under here. When you've done that, go back into marketing funnels and see, and you can't duplicate it. Ah, that's such a shame. I want an email sign up, a plain email sign up, so I can just say click here to sign up for my email newsletter. And I also want one for, that's a different form. That's for keynote presentations where they have to fill in more details, the date and all that kind of stuff that they want me to present at. But that's how marketing funnels work. I hope you found that interesting. I hope I didn't rush it too much. You can always replay it. You can always slow it down. And if you have any questions, do let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.